Today, I'm just going to ramble on about a bunch of stuff because we've missed like three or four weeks of episodes. So I'm just going to run through some stuff here that might be, could be possibly interesting and hopefully uh, just babble in between so there's not silence. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale was announced. You know this? The Super Mario Bros. Oh, yes. uh, the, what's it called? Smash Brothers rip-off thing. Yeah, we looked at that. Yeah, but it's it's not Smash Brothers, but it's gonna be a better version. So it's PlayStation. Yeah. So basically, if you know what Smash Brothers is, a bunch of characters, screens, you fight. Not like Tekken fighting. It's like it's not it's not like a like a Street Fighter. There's actually like heaps of different moves and stuff type fighting. Um, they haven't announced all the characters yeah, there's for it. There's, there's a lot of moves. It's just different kind of fighting. It's, not, it's just like button mashing. Right? Yeah, it's button bashing. More or less. Well, oh, they, no. Each character still has about six different things they can do. Ooh, so, six! Well, that, that's that's off playing Smash Bros. You can do jump attacks and fucking shoot missiles and shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, apparently they've got shit like that in this one, too. What's his face out of kill zone? I don't know, some character out of kill zone's in it and he can fucking, like, he'll shoot. He's better from a long distance. And then, like, Parappa the Rapper. Cause he's in it. Uh, there's batter up in close, 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 close quarters, close quarters. Uh, I'll save that for last. That's a bit of news. What else we got? Uh, ram, 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 ram. Got a war for. Fuck. Don't care. It's got multiplayer. Skyrim Dawn Guard DLC. Top news. That's happening as That's well. Good. Oh, here's something stupid. Does it, what's it, does it say anything about it? What's it say? No, it just says like it's coming out, eh? Alright, so we've got some, <laughs> so we've got, so we've got some Skyrim DLC coming. Yeah. Right. Oh, this one, this uh, James Cameron did an interview like a, like a week or two ago. He was like, oh yeah, I'm pretty much uh, only going to be producing my own movies now. And I was like, oh yeah, what's that? He's like, was, he's like obviously I'm doing Avatar 2. Avatar 3. I'm in the Avatar business. And who knows, I might do 4, 5, 6 as well. Did, did he say he was going to do a three? He said he was going to do it. He's do, it's certain he's doing two and three. All right. And he said after that he might do four as well and five and six. Who knows? All right. He's in the Avatar business. That first movie was something Shit. that should just be left. Oh, I loved it. It was a good movie. It's something that should just be left alone. Stand alone as a good movie. It's good. A second one is pushing it that they can still make it. They're going movie. underwater. Under. Under uh, whatever the fucking place oh, is called. So that, so that could be an alright idea. No, no, no. <laughs> we got <laughs> new shit under there. Alright, oh, um, anyway, but after Sea that, monsters. Don't make a three. Yeah, well no. that's happening. Three, maybe four. It's all happening. It could be intelligent sea race that can talk. Like <laughs> <it>. <laughs> maybe. 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 Maybe you'll get one of them as well. You have two girlfriends. Why would they make a movie where he's got him cheating on the blue? No, bitch? not cheating. They're happily ever after in a three-way. What marriage. in a three-way marriage? Did they even? They weren't. They're not even married yet. Are they? Did the tree marry him? I think. I, think, I don't know. I forget. Now. Was that marriage? I see. I can't remember. When that tree thing. Yeah, no, I like think, I think they connected to the tree. In yeah. That sense. It's, there was a lot of connecting weird stuff happening in that movie at all times. See that bird right. over there? That bird thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you wanna ride that? Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Ride that pterodactyl looking thing. Yeah, alright. You just gotta fuck it with your <laughs> fucking head antenna. <laughs> then you're right to go. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Edgar Wright, Nick Frost, Simon Pegg. They're all getting towards doing the third movie of their three coloured Cornetto trilogy. Whatever it's called. Sean the Dead's part of the trilogy. Fox Fires is the second of the trilogy. Yeah. They're doing the third one. I can't remember exactly how. Let me click on this link. So I expect something good then? Well, I can't remember exactly what it said. Um, it's, so it's called The World's End. <clears throat> They're shooting it in September. 
Uh, and here's the synopsis for the movie. Twenty years after attempting to uh, twenty years after attempting an epic pub crawl, five childhood friends reunite when one of them becomes hell bent on trying the drinking marathon again. They convi convinced convinced to stage an encore by mate Gary King, a forty year old man trapped at the cigarette end of his teens, who drags his reluctant pals to their hometown and once again attempts to reach the fabled pub, the world's end. As they attempt to reconcile the past and the present, they realise the real struggle is for the future, not just theirs, but humankind's reaching the world end is the least of their worries. Alright, so I don't know what that means. Yeah. Might be about aliens. Could be. Uh, Peg and uh, yeah, so they're writing it and it comes out next year, spring 2013. I'm excited. Spring, spring, so end of year. I don't know if they mean like spring American time, spring like British time, or spring our time. Right. So that's why I always get confused, and that's why I hate it. You watch a movie trailer, coming this summer. Do I have to wait? It comes out in 10 months, but coming this, it's not summer. <laughs> well, it is over there. But. Uh, apparently, Kickass is going to be a movie trilogy. Alright. Yeah. Jay for it. <laughs> I'll probably watch it. I love the best one. Bioshock Infinite got delayed to 2013. <laughs> what? Yeah. All these games, you know, <laughs> like all these games that you're excited for, they all get fucked off. Syndicate, banned. Mm -hmm. You know, everything just pushed back or cancelled or. Mm -hmm. They, 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 they. Next year, you're going to be hearing is Australia does not get PlayStation games mm -hmm. anymore. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the other one of the big things, the Elder Scrolls Online got announced. There's something for you. The PC. Okay. What do I get? What do I get? Now, fuck losing this phone. What's the shit? Let's go off the top of my head. Let's see what comes to the top of my head. Because we've missed a couple of weeks. Let's just see when I think. And what worry, stories so. come to the top of my head first? Community. Got renewed. But it's. Creator got kicked off, and I'm pissed off. It rhymes. Got kicked off and got pissed off. So the guy who created Community, fucking brilliant show. Uh, Dan Harmon or Heyman, I can't remember how to pronounce his name. He is off it, and now they're bringing in two other Jew dudes. Jews. <laughs> they're bringing in two Jews. They're gonna put him up against the wall and shoot him. Uh, they're bringing in two dudes who, uh, I can't remember what their names are, but one of them worked on Just Shoot Me, which made me want to Just Shoot Me. Um, and they're doing it so they can broaden the audience of Community, because in case you didn't know, the Community is a, uh, it's a show that not many people watch, but, and that's why they wanted to can it, and those numbers are horrible, but the people that do, <coughs> the people that do watch it, fucking love it. It's that kind of show. So they're bringing in these other people to uh, broaden the show's horizons and make it more viewable, which basically translates to we're bringing in these people to make the show shit so other people who have tastes which are shit will actually like this show and then watch it. And that just pisses me off a little bit. It's a good show. But they're going to fucking ruin it. Now I'm not excited for the next season anymore if the head dude's gone and just it's going to fucking do nothing. It's crap. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. What else am I not happy about? Arrow got a trailer. That this green this green arrow TV show. Didn't know this. Smallville ended. They went, oh yeah, let's uh, let's make another let's make another one of these shows. So they, they made this one called Arrow and it looks crap. I'm gonna blink here in a second because I'm about to show him the trailer. Let's where is this? Arrow. Yeah, watch this. Fucking annoying. Five years. Five years break that. One One no. Just in time, I am returning to the boy who shipwrecked the man who had just 
So the number one problem I have with that is comics. Books? No, sorry. Movies based on comics and TV shows based on comics. Any of the good ones carry over the one redeeming factor that is comic books. The characters are like over fucking personalities. You know, like Batman, Joker. You know what I mean? Like all their personality, all personalities of characters within inside comic books are usually very unrealistic. Mm. All right. So the the very the stupid person dressing up in the the green outfit and whatever else running around the city with a green arrow always has some stupid, unbelievably, you know, stupid bad guy. This. Just looks like CSI with a dude with a bow and arrow to me. It does, he gets off and Yes, off. exactly. It's all it looks like. You don't see. It's like they start off, this dude on the island comes in, he goes around, he's blah, blah, blah. Every other person in that trailer, there's not one other interesting character. And actually, they don't even make Bow and Arrow look interesting in that trailer. Like, what? The, the boss was just a common monster. And he kills, uh, he kills, uh, he kills some bad guys, and it's like he's a guy with a bow and arrow. Yeah. That's exactly straight. He's gone with bone. <laughs> it doesn't look... No, fuck that show. Um, another show that can go get fucked that they released a trailer for. Because remember I was talking about there was, there was remaking Sherlock and Americans? Yeah. Yeah, well, the trailer came out for that. No, I'm not showing you because I can't be fucked watching that again. Right. It looks like crap. Lucy Lou Playing Watson. <laughs> and the stupid thing is, though, they've Americanized it and they've still got a pommy dude playing him and then he's putting on some half pommy, half American accent and it looks like a cross between The Mentalist and Sherlock and just made like some really incest crappy baby. You made some what's in a chick. Yeah, and then made what's in a chick. It just, it's like he gets to the crime scene and he doesn't seem Sherlock. He seems more like the dude out of The Mentalist. I like The Mentalist. Well, I don't, but I have seen it, and it looks more like the dude out of The Mentalist than anything else. It just doesn't... We're annoyed with the way these things go. I don't know about... What else? I think that's it. No, we're going to call me Conor <laughs> you, can, you can talk about that if you want. Oh, but it would just be another one of them things every week where I go, we're going to call me Conor in four weeks, we're going to call me Conor in three weeks. We're going to Comic Con. We're going to Comic Con tomorrow. Are we? No. Uh, right. No, but that's how we go every week. I'm, I'm just so excited about it. We're going because Australia got this. I was Comic Con in Melbourne and I was in, in Adelaide as well. That one already has been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not as big. But it's, yeah, it's going to have Stan Lee there. Mm -hmm. And just like, in, like Comic Con, but I, I, I assume it's going to be 10 times smaller. And, I hope yeah. it's not 10 times smaller. It's pretty big. Oh, actually, let's talk about that. Um, here, here, if you've got the internet or you have a way to get this, type in Comic Con Episode 4 of Fans Hope and watch that. It's a documentary. It's good shit. Mm, yeah. I think we're going to go with Wolverine. Really? Yep. You can say that now and then in five minutes if you tell me it doesn't work. And then get, get my photo taken with, with the guy out of X Men, the bald guy, and I'll be Wolverine. The bold guy out of X Men. Yeah. I don't know his name. <laughs> I don't know his name. In X Men. Pushes around in a real wheelchair. <laughs> he pushes around in a wheelchair. In X Men, yeah. Yeah. I mean. <coughs> What's his name? Patrick. Patrick. Right, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get him to sign a sign of the with him, Patrick. Why? No, I want him to be the bold guy out of X Men. He's Xavier. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to be Wolverine. Yeah. No, he didn't. No, but Wolverine's in that. Is he? In X Men, yes. He's also in Star Trek. Wolverine? No. Get the fuck out of here. The Professor X. What's up with that Wolverine? Yeah, but Professor I'm X. I'm going to take along a wheelchair and be like, sit in that. <laughs> <laughs> and take, and take my picture. <laughs> and quote some fantastic shit. That's it, I'm done. Let's end this video. Bye. No, actually, no. <laughs> No, no. We'll be back next week. We will. Will we? <laughs> yes, we will be back next week. We will be back next week. Bye. See you, fuckheads. I'll leave that here. Fuck, hey, boss. Huh?